How cacti work. If you live in a hot part of the world, cacti are probably commonplace to you. But cacti are not what we commonly think of having branches or being silky instead of spiky. The truth about cacti is that there are many types of them and they are all different. An estimate done in 2009 estimated the number of different cacti species to be between 1,500 and 1,800. These are pictures of the most common cacti, but there are of course many more types of cacti. The problem cacti are facing is that some species are nearing extinction because of climate change and only the best adapted species can survive. There might have been many more species of cacti centuries ago, but scientists did not have the opportunity to observe them because many of them died out. Cacti don't live in just deserts, contrary to popular belief. Some types of cacti grow in jungles, as the temperature there is hot too. And since they live in different environments, they are bound to be different in appearance and style. We typically expect cacti to have spikes, and they do, but the spikes are sometimes so different that we don't recognize them as spikes. Take this peyote cactus for example. Its spikes look like shriveled up potato spuds, but they are actually meant to be spikes. Cacti live in hot environments and they need to retain water for very long times. The way they do that is by eliminating leaves, which increase evapotranspiration. Instead of leaves, cacti have a spongy material covered by a thin layer of skin that helps retain the water. Water can also condense on the cactus and drip onto the ground where the roots will absorb it. Cacti are so good at retaining water that 90% of the mass of the cactus is water. Cacti are also very efficient at photosynthesis. Normal leafy plants must open their stoma to absorb CO2 and in the process they lose up to 95% of the water they absorbed. But cacti use the method of crassulation acid metabolism in which the plant opens its stoma only when the water cannot evaporate. And everybody knows that cacti have spikes for protection. If you've ever tried to pick a cactus up you've found out the hard way. But what do the cacti that don't have spikes do? They defend themselves with hallucinogenic toxins. But even that can only defend against animals, not humans, since some humans have been known to use the cacti as medicine. In the discussion, I forgot to mention the boring facts about cacti. Cacti belong in the Caryophyllales order and the Cactaceae family. Now that that is out of the way, we can go back to discussing and we'll discuss their history. Cacti evolved around 146 to 100 million years ago, around the time when the double continent of Gondwana split into Africa and South America. That is the reason South America has so many species of cacti, but surprisingly Africa does not have a lot of cacti. That might be because of the lack of water there, or maybe because of other reasons. Cacti also spread to North America in the process evolving more and changing to the cacti we know that now populate the American desert. But how did cacti get to North America from South America and how do cacti reproduce? They reproduce by having insects or birds pollinate the flowers which then drop seeds onto the ground where they grow. The seeds grow some distance away from the original cactus as they need space to grow. That is exactly how the cacti spread to North America from South America. For more cool videos about stuff, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out Wikipedia for more about cacti and whatever else you want.